Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my review of tonight's edition of SmackDown. And tonight's SmackDown was held from the KFC Yum Center in Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, this was the go-home show for the Greatest Royal Rumble, which is coming up on Friday, uh, which uh, I will uh, be reviewing. I will review the, uh, the Greatest Royal Rumble, uh, which is being held from uh, Saudi Arabia. And uh, tonight's SmackDown, uh, I thought uh, it was much better than Raw, but still uh, wasn't a good show tonight, uh, SmackDown, uh, in my opinion. But uh, the show opened up with uh, The Miz coming out. Uh, he came out for Miz TV. Uh, the crowd ends up uh, booing him. And, you know, Miz ends up saying... Oh, welcome me to us. Uh, welcome me back to SmackDown. And he says, you know, something is missing, and that is his uh, Intercontinental title. And he says, you know, he will uh, take back the Intercontinental title. Uh, he will win it uh, for the ninth time. You know, hopefully on Friday at the Greatest Royal Rumble. And you know, he tells Daniel Bryan to come down and punch him in the face. Uh, because, you know, Daniel Bryan said on Twitter, uh, you know, last, you know, last week saying, uh, you know, I want to, uh, I want to punch, you know, Miz, uh, you know, in the face. And, you know, because Daniel Bryan wanted uh, Miz to come to SmackDown during the other uh, Superstar shakeup. Uh, and then, uh, you know, the Miz is telling Daniel Bryan, you know, to come out. Daniel Bryan doesn't come out, but Big Cass ends up coming out and says, you know, he is Miz's guest and for Miz to interview him. Big Cass ends up saying no one cares about Daniel Bryan and that he would have never made it back to WWE. Uh, Big Cass ends up saying, you know, he was out with a torn uh, ACL. Uh, you know, he was injured on Raw back in August. Uh, in the uh, the Brooklyn uh, street fight uh, with Enzo, and he ends up saying, you know, he worked to get, you know, he worked, you know, hard to get back to competing in the ring, you know, when he was out injured. And Miz ends up saying, you know, he doesn't need Big Cass's help. And Big Cass says to Miz that the world, you know, doesn't uh, revolve around him. And so uh, Big Cass ends up saying, you know, to the crowd that. You know, they will never achieve their dreams. And he ends up calling the crowd a bunch of Joe Schmucks. Uh, he goes on to say that he despises Daniel Bryan. And he says he's going to put uh, Daniel Bryan back on the shelf and, you know, retire him. And, you know, he would never cash a shadow on him or anyone again. Then, you know, Big Cash just walks out. Uh... It was an okay uh, Miz TV, uh, you know, in my opinion. It was an okay segment. Then uh, we went backstage and we saw, uh, you know, Becky Lynch and Asuka, you know, coming out for uh, their match. When, you know, they're trying to walk out, we pan the camera pans and we see Daniel Bryan uh, was, uh, you know, taken down backstage. And... You know, pretty much uh, we saw that. And, you know, we wonder, you know, who uh, who attacked Daniel Bryan backstage, uh, which Daniel Bryan reveals later on. Uh, but we all know, you know, it was pretty much big cast. And uh, then we had, uh, when SmackDown came back from, com from commercial, Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, uh, you know, are out. You know, saying, you know, how they look so good and, you know, so hot. They end up making fun of Becky Lynch, you know, saying, oh, lucky, lucky charms. You know, there was, you know, Peyton Royce ended up saying, oh, you know, catch me lucky charms. You know, just making fun of Becky Lynch. And, you know, that they also make fun that she's teaming up with Asuka. Uh, they then go on to say that they are both better than Asuka. And they end up calling, you know, Asuka the, uh, the empress of yesterday. And so that's when, uh, you know, Becky Lynch and Asuka ended up coming out 
So we got the match right on the way. Uh, Payne Royce and Billy Kay versus Becky Lynch and Asuka. And the match was enjoyable. Uh, it was back and forth between them. Uh, Payne Royce and Billy Kay uh, really uh, were enjoyable in the match. I'm a fan of both of them. You know, the Iconics. Uh, and uh, Payne Royce and Billy Kay uh, end up getting the win because uh, uh, Payton ended up Payne Royce ended up uh, pinning Becky Lynch uh, the uh, the cheating way uh, where uh, or the cheap way where uh, Payne Royce had uh, both of her feet on the rope and the ref didn't even see it and so Payne Royce and Billy Kay win the match which uh, they were they needed the uh, they needed the win in my opinion they and they can't end up losing you know uh, a match already so but you know the the Iconics, you know, they really needed uh, the win. So but all in all, it was a uh, it was a enjoyable uh, match, and you know the only reason why you know they did it was because you know the women aren't going to uh, you know the greatest Royal Rumble. You know the women's division of both Raw and SmackDown, they're not going to uh, the greatest Royal Rumble. So that's why you know that's why uh, they did this. And then Renee Young, you know, she's standing by. Uh, AJ Styles comes out, and AJ says, you know, Shane has, you know, given him, you know, time to rough up Shinsuke uh, tonight. And he says that uh, there's going to be a six-man tag team match tonight, and he's like, it's going to be too sweet. So that was a uh, that was a little. Uh, interview AJ gave you know with Renee but look look lo and behold another six-man tag team match for tonight WWE and their six-man tags then we had uh, the Usos uh, they were in the locker room uh, Naomi comes in and Jimmy says to Naomi you know the promise that you know she won't be out uh, tonight during uh, his match with uh, with Eric Rowan and Naomi says you know last week she looked at uh, Harper and Rowan and saw nothing and she ends up telling uh, she ends up telling Jimmy you know she's got a bad feeling about tonight and Jimmy says you know to Naomi you know not to worry because you know he's got Rowan tonight so but uh, you know look on the look of concern on Naomi you know with the uh, you know her her husband there you know but uh it was a uh it was a decent uh lock room uh, segment with them then we had a you know the match jimmy uso versus eric rowan the match was pretty much meh in my opinion uh naomi ended up coming out uh when she came out uh luke harper was just standing there and then from out of nowhere, Jey Uso comes in and kicks Harper, and which led to uh, Jimmy rolling up uh, Eric Rowan for the win. So Jimmy Uso uh, ends up winning the match. Uh, the match itself, it was meh. Then we had, uh, after that match, we had uh, Renee Young uh, in the ring. Uh, it was the contract signing between Carmella and uh, Charlotte. Uh, for the SmackDown Women's title, which uh, is going to be defended at uh, Backlash. You know, Charlotte gets her rematch clause at Backlash. So Carmella ends up coming out. Uh, the crowd is uh, booming the hell out of her. She ends up saying to the, to the crowd that, you know, she is your, you know, champion. She is your women's champion. And we just see, you know, the crowd booing her. And, uh... Carmella says, you know, last week she played the highlight reel and no one gave her a standing ovation. And so she ends up saying she's going to play the same highlight reel again uh, that was played uh, last week. And she said she wants to she wants the crowd to give her a standing ovation uh, that she deserves. Uh, the crowd, you know, she does end up uh, playing the highlight reel. Uh you know, after the highlight reel is done, the crowd, you know, boos her. 
And, you know, she wasn't really happy about that. And so she goes on to say that she's going to play the highlight reel again and that she's going to keep playing it until the crowd gets it right. So she's basically forcing the crowd to uh, stand up and give her a standing ovation. So, so she then plays it again. Uh, she ends up uh, getting interrupted by, you know, Charlotte. Charlotte ends up coming out. Then we see just Carmella just, you know, teasing her, holding up this, holding up the woman's title, you know, doing the uh, the flare strut. Uh, and then we see just, you know, Charlotte just came in. She didn't have to, she didn't speak or anything. She just came in, signed the contract. She ended up hitting Carmella head on the table, which Carmella botched. Actually, there was two botches uh, in this segment. One, Carmella didn't sign the contract. And then two, she botched, you know, the head, you know, Charlotte, you know, Charlotte hitting uh, Carmella, you know, head on the table. So, uh, and then she, Charlotte just ended up flipping the table on top of Carmella. So she just, so Charlotte just came in, signed it, had nothing to say. So that that was pretty uh, that was pretty cool of, of uh, Charlotte, but all in all, the segment itself it was yeah it was meh in my opinion. Then we saw uh, Dasha Fuentes, you know she's coming to get an interview with Nakamura. She's outside Nakamura's uh, locker room or whatever room that uh, he was staying in. Out comes Aiden English, and he's like. No interviews. And so he just goes back in the room. So it was pretty much that. Then we had uh, Shelton Benjamin versus Randy Orton. Uh, which the match was okay. Uh, wasn't uh, great uh, by any means. Uh, it was back and forth between Benjamin and Orton. Uh, Jeff Hardy was out there. Because uh, uh, Jeff Hardy ended up coming out. Uh, you know, way before the match even started, before the match started, and then Randy Orton ended up coming out. And uh, during the end part of the match, uh, somebody jumps, you know, comes out of nowhere, attacks Jeff Hardy, uh, Je attacks Jeff Hardy's uh, uh, knee, and, you know, he gets into the ring, and, you know, Orton's about to uh, hit him, and, uh, Orton ends up uh, taking off, uh, taking off the mask, and it's revealed that uh, it's Sunil Singh, and you know just, uh, I don't know, just and then just uh, Randy Orton just comes and RKO's uh, Sunil, and uh, gave Shelton Benjamin, you know, the chance to uh, pin Orton. So Shelton Benjamin ended up uh, winning the match. Uh, so, but overall, the match was okay. Uh, wasn't, you know, great. Then we see uh, New Day uh, was celebrating uh, because of the release of their book, uh, The Book of Booty. You know, this just had the uh, the pancakes there. And Cesaro and Sheamus uh, come and say, you know, after tonight, uh, they won't, you know, New Day won't be seeing uh, Cesaro and Sheamus on SmackDown again because, you know, they're like, Oh, we're gonna win the, uh, the we're gonna win back our Raw Tag Team titles on Sunday and go back on Sunday on Friday. Uh, you know when they win the Raw Tag Team titles on Friday at uh, the Greatest Royal Rumble, and you know when they win it, they will pos they will go back to Raw with the uh, with the Tag Team titles if they uh, if they win it on Friday. And New Day ends up telling them to uh, to get out. You know, because they were, you know, Cesaro and Sheamus were ruining their celebration. So, it was pretty much, it was pretty much that. That segment. Then we had uh, Renee Young uh, waiting for an interview or an update on Daniel Bryan's, you know, injury. And Daniel Bryan ends up coming out, uh, giving an update on, you know, about the injury. And Daniel Bryan says, he, you know, he's ready to go for the, uh, the greatest Royal Rumble. And that he got attacked by Big Cass. And he announces that at Backlash, he's getting in a match. He's having a match with Big Cass. 
So that's uh, what's coming up at, uh, at Backlash. And he says he's going to make, you know, Big Cass tap out. So it looks like Daniel Bryan is ready for uh, the greatest Royal Rumble on Friday. That's going to be uh, that's going to be pretty uh, awesome to see. And uh, then we had Samoa Joe cut a promo saying that the Intercontinental title is his uh, after uh, Friday. And he goes on to say that after the match, he's going to watch Roman get destroyed by Lesnar in the steel cage. And that basically he's going to destroy uh, Roman Reigns, you know, after Lesnar is done uh, with Roman. So it was a pretty it was a pretty cool promo that, that uh, Samoa Joe cut. Then we had the main event, the six-man tag. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, Rouge 7, 8 in English versus AJ Styles, Gallows, and Anderson. And uh, Nakamura ended up coming out uh, with the new uh, with a new uh, entrance theme. You know, he still has, you know, the... Uh, 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 like that. But ended up switching it. And I, to be honest, I thought it was shit. I thought his new... I think his new theme is shit. Uh, how the way they uh, just added, you know, a new thing in it, but I I didn't like it. I thought I thought it was shit. But uh, the match itself, uh, it was it was okay main event uh, in my opinion. Uh, pretty much uh, in the beginning, uh, AJ Styles was working on it in English, and you know the club, you know Gals and Anderson. Uh, working on uh, A in English. Uh, but at the end of the match, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, uh, Rusev, and A in English uh, win the match uh, because uh, because uh, Nakamura ends up pinning the Kinshasa to, uh, to uh, Gallows uh, to score the win. And uh, after the match, AJ Styles comes in. And beats down on Shinsuke Nakamura, gets his hands on uh, Nakamura, and once again, Nakamura ends up low blowing AJ Styles. Uh, once again, this is like the third time that Nakamura has low blowed uh, Styles. Nakamura likes that. Nakamura likes some crotch there. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, this this is like the third time. This is like the third time already. Then uh, we saw, you know, Nakamura ends up uh, trying, he's going to hit the Kinshasa on Styles, but Carl uh, Anderson ends up coming in and taking uh, the Kinshasa. You know, basically, uh, Anderson ends up, you know, ends up helping uh, Styles by taking the Kinshasa. Then uh, we just see uh, Styles and uh, Anderson down, you know, Nakamura's going, you know, that, come on, and then Nakamura ends up hitting another Kinshasa to uh, Anderson, and pretty much that basically uh, ended SmackDown, so, but all in all, the main event, uh, it was okay, in my opinion, so, yeah, so anyways, uh, that's it for my review of tonight's edition of SmackDown. Thank you all for watching. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe. And until next video, which will probably be uh, Greatest Royal Rumble uh, review. Uh, which uh, hopefully it will be up uh, after uh, the show is over. So that will be coming up on Friday. So... Until that video, I'll see you all later. And uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Bye.